guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Revolt ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GD i9100. This time I'll be doing a review, I'll be going through some of the features of the Revolt ROM and I'll share my thoughts on it. So stay tuned for that. Hi again, we got here the Revolt ROM which is version 4.4 for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GD i9100 and let's check out um, the version of course. So as you can see it's version 4.4 and it's on Android 4.2.2 and it's based on Cygen mod. So as you can see it's pretty much it has the same vanilla Android sort of like a vanilla Android experience with additional options. This is an AOKP ROM and as you can see I believe I'm using the Nova launcher if I'm not mistaken and of course you can change it. You have a two, two launchers here. We've got the Revolt launcher and the Nova launcher. Anyway, so let's check out um, some of the settings of the phone. Of course, one of the most important features of a ROM is the control settings. So this is an AOKP. So we can go through the AOKP settings and we've got of course the usual settings that can be found on most AOKP ROMs. But this guy has got the Halo um, uh, notification, you know, one way of going to not notifications is through the Halo feature over here. You can easily enable it and disable it. And uh, to, enable, to enable it, uh, you just simply put, pull down the status or notification bar and there should be a, a Halo icon up there. Um, moving forward, we've got different lock screen settings which we can play around with. We've got the power menu, of course, going the navigation bar. We can enable it or disable it. Of course, I don't know why you would need to enable it because we've got our own uh, hardware keys here. Uh, we've got ribbons. Yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. Um, check this out, guys. If I swipe from the right bezel, we get sort of this uh, ribbon here at the side. We can easily uh, change the whatever icons or apps appear. Uh, simply by going to ribbons and choosing right swipe ribbon, we can easily change or even add additional uh, things such as let's put up search. Let's close that and we save it and then we swipe again and there we got search. Let's say we click clock, we go on to clock, which is pretty cool. So we, we can, let me see if I can get it up. There it is again. We can go menu, do anything. Let's go calculator for example and it brings up the calculator app, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. And I think um, some uh, smartphone manufacturers should actually implement that into their own, of course, customized user interface. So we've got Pi controls. So this is a sort of like a navigational um, uh, bar down here, which you can just simply drag from the from the from any side. Again, I set it up from the from the low bezel. What do you call this again? Yeah, from the bottom bezel. Why did they call it low bezel? Anyway, uh, let's go back to system settings. Revolt control. Good. We can play around with the toggles, the battery, of course. Um, yeah, that's basically about it. But regarding the AOKP, you can even have different themes. So anyway, here's the interesting part. We've got the Revolt customizations. This is done by the developer himself, so you can play around with this. For example, we've got lock screen see-through. I've seen this in several other rooms sorry, roams, and uh, as you can see, uh, you can easily see what's behind the lock screen. So that's pretty cool. Also, we've got the power widget. Uh, let's turn that on. Let's see what else we got here. See, sometimes it gets confused. So anyway, um, we've got hardware keys. We can change the hardware key actions, which is actually pretty cool also. So we can have, this is the cool thing also about the, uh, I've been using the word cool a lot, so got to improve my vocabulary. Um, we've got the dark revolt theme. So this what does is just makes the, the user interface darker. So we can just swipe it to on and it becomes a little bit more darker. And we've got hybrid settings. Yes, this comes with a paranoid Android uh, setting. So you can easily play around with a different uh, user interfaces from phablet, tablet, all the way down to the stock typical user interface. So basically that's about it in regards to the Revolt ROM. Um, it's pretty good. Um, 
nothing new, nothing, not, nothing really new except for the ribbons which I kind of like. So that's basically about it guys. This has been the Revolt ROM version 4.4 for the Samsung Galaxy S2. So if you guys like my videos, if you enjoy my videos, uh, feel free to like the video of course. Uh, subscribe to Wired Mash and if you got any comments or suggestions such as if you want me to try out a new ROM or try, it, try out an app, feel free to post them in the comments below. And of course I do listen to you guys and I do actually get to check out the ROM later on because I've got several other ROMs lined up already so feel free to do so. So again, thanks for watching and stay tuned to Wired Mash.